Good morning, LeGrand. Welcome to the morning drip. I've got EJ here. EJ is one of the members of Sons of Guns. Uh, he lives in Seattle and he came to visit LeGrand, hang out with us for a few days, do a little Sons of Guns practice, that kind of thing. We thought we'd get up early in the morning and catch the sunrise, uh, but it turns out the uh, sun doesn't come up for another couple hours. So I think we kind of jumped the gun. How are you enjoying LeGrand? Are you enjoying your visit? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's great. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. Yeah. Good, cool. So, uh, I'm going to bed. Yeah, I think I'm going to go back to bed too. I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. I'm sure you heard about this, but last week something bad happened. A uh, family lost their home in a fire. There were four kids inside and the grandfather, Jim Smith, went in and got help get his grandkids out and suffered some pretty bad burns. Now the good thing that happened was the community really rallied together. The Red Cross provided them with food and clothes. They've got a place to stay right now. People have been donating things like crazy. Furniture West donated a bunch of furniture, beds, table chairs, uh, living room furniture. One of the local storage unit places donated a storage unit to help hold all these donated items until they get their house back. Um, but, Jim Smith, the grandfather who went into the flames to save his grandchildren, um, is now hurting pretty bad. He's in a manual hospital in Portland and could really use some help with medical bills and he lost his vehicle, all that kinds of stuff. So, the family's been taken care of pretty well, but if you would like to help, uh, come down to Highway 30 and fill this jar up with cash or prepaid Visa cards or anything like that. Um, that is the one thing left that we can all do. Okay, what's happening this week in LaGrand? We got something for everyone. For the art lover, it's third Thursday art walk this week, downtown LaGrand. For the music lover, Thursday is LaGrand High School's winter band concert. And for the theater lover, Cheaper by the Dozen is opening up at the Elgin Opera House this Friday, playing Friday and Saturday. So, if you wanna see a play, go see the play. For the aromatherapy lover, Juliet Whispering Pines is teaching a class Monday the 18th on essential oils and how to make a, your own antibacterial natural solution for your home. If you've never been to Whispering Pines, it's on Adams Avenue just between Domino's and Foley Station. More information on that in the community calendar. Hi May. Hi. Um, I came to ask you what if you knew what the trivia question was from last week. Yeah, I came to ask you if you knew the answer, and then I remembered that I forgot to ask a trivia question last week. So, um, since you were the first one to point that out, you get the free copy. Yay! Um, but we are going to do a trivia question for next week. What flower is this? 